Hi everyone, welcome to my first ever YouTube video. Today I'm going to be doing a spring fairy. The first thing I do is paint my whole neck and chest area blue with the blue water activated face paint. All the paints I'm going to be using today are from Tag Body Art. I will link their website in the description box. Once we're all blue, I'm going to be painting on the branches with the brown face paint. I am doing them starting from my back working in towards the middle of my chest. The branches don't have to be perfect, we are going to cover up a lot of it with flowers and leaves and stuff later. Now that all the branches are in place, I'm going to be taking some black and doing some shading. This is just so it's not so flat and boring, give it some more dimension. And be careful with your armpits because I am very good at messing this part up. We'll cover that later, don't worry. So now I'm going to be doing some highlights with some white face paint. We just added some shadows and now it's time for some highlight. I'm just doing this randomly with fast brush strokes. It doesn't have to be perfect like I said before. Next I'm going to be taking some gold and putting that in some blue areas in between the branches and blending it in a little bit. This is just to give it a little bit more of a magical feel because we are a fairy. We want to be nice and magical looking. Moving on to flowers, to get the two colored petal effect, I first saturate my brush in some white face paint and then I swirl only the tip in some pink to get the pink in the middle and white on the outside, if that makes any sense. And then I'm just layering up a few flowers here and there to make them look a little bit more fuller and I am doing flowers in a variety of different colors and making it nice and colorful. And then I'm just doing some single petals here and there just to give it some more detail and a little bit of more fairy magical touch. Now I'm taking some green and adding in some leaves here and there. These are just simple teardrop leaves, nothing too fancy. Um, I'm just doing these in random places, putting it along the flowers. And now I'm taking some white face paint and I am putting a few dots in the middle of every single flower. And I am also putting this in the blue areas along some of the branches just to give it some more detail, make it look a little bit more pretty. Moving on to the eyes, today I'm going to be using the Morphe 35B palette and then the first thing I do is set my whole eyelid with some white eyeshadow. And I'm taking the pink shadows in the palette and I am putting that all over my lid, focusing it on the crease and I'm also taking it down the bridge of my nose and I'm bringing it a little bit up past my eyebrows. I'm also putting some on my cupid's bow, a little bit on my chin, underneath my lip and also some on the sides of my mouth. And now I'm going to take the same pink shades in the palette and I'm just going to contour out my cheekbones. I'm going to do this nice and sharp. This is what is going to really transform your face and now I am contouring out my forehead cause let's be real, your girl got a big forehead. And now I'm taking the NYX Jumbo Milk Pencil and I'm putting that under my eyes and I am setting it with a white eyeshadow. And then I'm taking some pink and putting it underneath of the white just so it could be more 
realistic like if it's my actual eye even though it's not and deepening up the crease once again now I'm taking some yellow and I was going for a half cut crease but then I decided to go for a full cut crease so I'm just cutting out the crease right here and now I am taking some pink and I am putting on some fluffy brows pretty fluffy brows I would say and wing out my liner I'm also taking that underneath my eye and now we are going to draw branches and all the places that we contoured in including the cheekbones on my forehead and I'm not too worried about the ones um, on my forehead how they look because I know I'm going to be covering all of that up with my wig once I pop that on. And then once again I'm deepening up all that pink around my face. And now I'm taking some white and popping some dots in the inner corner of my eyes a little bit over my eyebrow. And then I'm doing that same flower technique and popping some flowers on my face underneath my eyes to give me that really pretty flower eye. Also some flowers on my forehead. Wherever I think is missing something time for some mascara this one is from Maybelline and I do pop on some lashes a little bit later off of camera for my lips I am using the wet n wild liquid lipstick I will list the shade down below and now I'm doing some little white dots once again in the middle of every flower and in a few random places underneath my mouth in the inner corner of my eyelids I mean underneath my eyes now I'm taking a blue shimmery shadow and popping that on my lips just to give it more fairy feel and I am doing the same thing with a little yellow shimmer and I pop on my wig and some flowers and, and there you go you are now a spring fairy so that's it thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to see more videos from me feel free to subscribe to my channel if you have any requests on what looks you would like to see next, leave them in the comments down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!